Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Design Enthusiasts Today we are getting hands on with just in mind to create stunning prototypes Stick around for a step by step guide on how to make st prototype in just in mind 2024 Ready to bring your design concept to life? Let's get started So before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information so guys in this video we are trying to make a prototype for a website that's gonna be any website here on basically google image we're just gonna try to make one from these variations of websites that we have here so the first thing uh, i like this one so i might go for it all right anyway so let's try to search for it here we go uh, open image in a new tab and we are going to work on this image right here so the first thing to do is to open of course just in mind so there it is and to make uh, prototypes on just in mind is pretty easy guys so you just have to follow me step by step and you will get there very easily so the first thing is to go here and click on create a new project after you create a new project you have to choose and decide how it should be how big like what is the height and how do you want it to be exactly so here I'm going with desktop HD let's name it prototype prototype and simply here I'm going to click on OK and as you can see it should be created in a couple of seconds now this is basically gonna be the header part of our website so I don't want to have like huge amount of things going around we're just gonna make a simple prototype and of course you guys can m work on it and make it look bigger or better so the first thing that comes to mind is to actually add a picture so I'm going to first make a layout so here we go here we have this triangle that is gonna be basically a layout I'm going to change the uh, background here from a solid to linear grad gradient so there it is so let me just click here and the first color is gonna be in dark I'm gonna want it to be like that okay this is exactly like what they did let's check that out again uh, yeah it should be a little bit more darker so let's make it darker than that so here I'm going to click on the darker color and it is somewhere like that yeah this is perfect so we, here we have basically the header of the website let's check else what do we need to add we need to add a couple of layouts all right this is or okay not hard so the first thing before we add those layouts we need to add some text so here I'm going to add a text so let's name it for example website name and I'm gonna make it bigger something around 26 and I'm gonna add it right here so this is the website name I'm going to make it white and I'm going to add some kind of font so I'm going to use my font Gilroy and it's gonna be uh, lights okay perfect now the same thing I'm going to copy and paste it so I can have another version of it and here I'm going to replace it with a home so this is gonna be basically the menu so here you have home we have a lot of things you can for, for example get a menu from here which is a basic menu that you can add automatically like that and you can add uh, each menu to it but for us we're just gonna make it uh, manually so here menu I'm going to copy it add some spacing which is gonna be for example 50 okay here home about us let's copy these two and basically what else is missing let's add two copies here 50 and privacy policy privacy policy and here I'm going to add as an example um, something like uh, contact us 
so as you can see now we have made the prototype already like the header we have here the website name the home about us privacy policy and contact us now we can add also a button which is going to be right here i'm going to add a button which is going to be in um, also linear contrast it's going to be somewhere like that like so let me just put this in the middle as you can see here and I'm going to remove the border we don't want any border we just want it to have contrast like that um, here we go the opacity I'm going to reduce it a little bit okay oh never mind they have deleted like the color so let me just add the opacity 100 here for the color it should be dark and here a little bit darker this is perfect just make the text a bit bigger and yeah this is exactly what you wanted let's remove the border from here and there we go now let's add couple layouts for the blogs and etc so here I'm going to add another triangle this triangle has to be without borders and it's gonna be basically gray let me just grab this exact color and this is exactly what I wanted let's make it a little bit transparent and this is perfect so here I'm gonna copy paste it and I'm going to make it around here so the first thing to add is basically header so add a header right here let's make 20 space and let's add header number two right below it and let's add header number three like somewhere like here we want the same spacing to be between them so here 15 and here I want it to be 15 as well so here we have kind of like a layout so here for example article 1 and let's make it for example bold here article or something like sports which is basically going to be for example uh, the category of this article for example sports and this one has to be a little bit smaller something like that it's gonna be right below it and here basically a paragraph that is explaining what's going on so here for example a paragraph and yeah this is exactly what we wanted and copy this paste it and basically do it all the way around right here so you can make a lot of articles going on we can add a lot of things so it is not really a big problem so here we have this layout we can also add some social media links we can do a lot of things but as we said this is just a prototype and you have to still work in it so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel thank you guys a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial